Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again for another Tech Tuesday video of the week. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom. That way you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. So this week, uh, I have a special guest, um, one of my favorite people from my high school. Coach Stoughton will be talking to us about importing grades to eSchool from Canvas. Now, I know, uh, one, of the, one of the biggest complaints we've had uh, from Canvas is that... Uh, there's no direct grade pass through, so teachers have had to uh, get their grades from Canvas and then manually type them into eSchool. So using the, uh, this uh, procedure right here, you will be able to import your grades from Canvas into eSchool using CSV files. Now, uh, if that sounds kind of confusing to you, then uh, go ahead and uh, keep watching, and Coach Stoughton will clear that right up for you. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so what we're going to look at is we're going to actually look at an easy way for you to export your grades from Canvas and put them into eSchool, which will save you a lot of time. And we're going to do a simple download of a file, a CSV file, and I'm going to show you how you can take a CSV file and actually just load it into eSchool so you don't have to enter the grades individually. So right now I'm logged into eSchool and I'm also logged into Canvas. So I'm going to go back over to Canvas and this is my gradebook section. So this has all of your grades, all of the assignments that you've assigned. You can see that some of the assignments are still here, some of these are ungraded. But we're going to focus on the ratio proportion multiple choice. So that's going to be something that I'm going to want to import. So I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to do export. Now what the export is going to do is it's going to create a file for me that has all of the grades in it in a CSV format. In a CSV format, you don't really have to worry about that, but you want to keep it in that format so that you can do a direct import. So once that file is downloaded, again, you go to Actions and you choose Export. Once you've done that, you're going to open your CSV file. And your CSV file is going to open up in Excel. And you can see that you have your student, you have an, a Canvas ID, you have your student ID, you have the username. So we only want to focus on the column with the student ID number, their school ID for SMCISD, and the column for the assignment that you want to import into eSchool. So right now for me that's column C and that's column I. Make sure when you download your file if you make any changes, if you delete columns, if you don't make those changes and save those changes before you import into eSchool, then eSchool will have the wrong tags. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now I'm going to go back to eSchool. So right now I'm in my fourth period class. So I'm going to come over to Ratio Proportion MC. That's the one that matches the grade that I have exported. You're going to see three icons. You have the expansion icon, which allows you to open the assignment detail for all students. You have your publishing icon, which allows you to publish the assignment for home access so that your students can see it. And then you have a mass update tool. This little icon right here is your mass update. You're going to click on mass update. And then after you click on mass update, you're going to go to import scores from file. Okay. When you click on import scores, you're going to get a, a little drop down menu here where you will have an option of choosing a file. Now my file I, on, that I just exported is just in my downloads section. So I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to go onto my laptop and I'm going to choose the file I just downloaded. So I'm going to attach that file. You can see that those are the grades. That is this document that we just downloaded. So we've now attached that to your eSchool uh, console. You want the, f the file format to be CSV, which is what the format is of the, the file that you exported, then you need to tell eSchool what this, what, which column in that file is your student ID number and which file in that, uh, which column in that file is the score. eSchool can actually take a consolidated comprehensive file with classes, all of your classes combined, and as long as you tell it which column is the student ID number, it will only grab the ID numbers that are appropriate to that class. So right now I'm in my fourth period. So I'm going to look back on my document and see I have all students listed in all courses. I have the entire list. So I have 140 students listed. You have to tell eSchool which 
column is the student ID number, in which this case the default is C. Now you have to use it numerically, so I'm going to go over one, two, three. So the third column is the student ID number. I'm going to go back to eSchool and I'm going to put a three in there because that tells eSchool that the third column in that document is the student ID number that we want to pull from to identify these students. The next one is going to be the score column number. So I'm going to go back to my CSV file and the score that I want is in column I. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I want to import from row, uh, column nine. So I'm going to tell eSchool column nine. So now I'm telling eSchool what column has the ID number, that's your identifier, and column nine. You do not have to do a sort on your file. You can have the students out of order. It will just run through the scan of the ID numbers and pick the ones that are appropriate. Down here, after you've entered those, you're going to see override existing scores and file has a header row. You will, you will select that the file has a header row because what that's telling eSchool is that the first row is not student information. It is just a header. This is just telling you what's in each column. So you will need to select that. If you have scores pre-existing, then you don't want to select override existing scores. If you don't have any scores, then you would select, um, you can select override. Now, the override tool, it kind of depends. If you have a student, say, that makes up an assignment late and you've already entered a zero in the grade book and you want to import these files over, these grades, you will have to do an override. So I'm going to go ahead and do an override. That means that whatever is in Canvas is going to override what is in my gradebook right now, which is probably going to be what most of you will use. So once again, just to review you, we have the import scores from the mass update icon, which my arrow is hovering over right now. Import scores, I chose the file that I downloaded. Again, it's a CSV file. I chose the ID number column as three. The score number is nine. And now I'm going to click import. And it told me that 24 of my 24 students have successfully had a score uploaded. So I'm going to close out. And if you look at my column, all of these scores have been imported from Canvas directly into my gradebook. The ones who did not submit an assignment are highlighted in red. And the ones that did submit the assignment are highlighted in black. And then you're going to go ahead and I can redo this because I already have the grade saved. I'm going to hit save. Oops. Let me see if I put these in there. This is the one. Put incompletes in there. You should be able to save. You put incompletes in the blanks, and there you go. Your grades are saved, and you've just taken about two or three minutes to import your grades directly from Canvas into eSchool, so you don't have to do it one by one. All right. There you have it. I'd like to thank Coach Stoughton one more time for taking the time out of her schedule to record that presentation for us. And once again, if any of y'all are having any trouble with Canvas, with uh, implementing technology in the classroom, or anything of the sort, please, please, please reach out to your EdTech coaches. Uh, we'd be more than happy to come and help out. Thanks again. Bye.